We're honored to have Dr. Biango Zhou with us from uh, Seoul, uh, Korea. And thank you, uh, Biango, for being on with us. And please uh, lead us in prayer for, for Asia. We're honored to have you, Biango. Thank you. Great to see you, Dr. James. Very good to see you. Uh, praise God. Amen. Now, I will share five prior topics on Asia. First, we will pray for the evangelization of all of Asia. The gospel began to spread in Asia with the help from Western missionaries. And now there are about 390 million Christians in Asia alone. This is God's grace. However, 92% of the 4.67 billion people in Asia still do not believe in Jesus. This is why we should pray. Everyone must be invited in experiencing God's world management. And when the Lord descends, all nations should be ready to welcome Him. Wow, hallelujah. So we will pray with the hope of the evangelization of all of Asia. Let us pray. Father, thank you for sending Jesus Christ. Thank you for sending missionaries to Asia through God's wonderful providence and making us God's people. Grant us your strength and courage so that we can share the wonderful news of the gospel to those who do not yet know you. In Jesus' name, amen. Second, we will pray for the 100 and 42 ethnic groups in Asia. Despite this huge number, there are many people in Asia who do not yet have a Bible translated in their language. The Bible is God's greatest gift to all mankind. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. We must pray for all ethnic groups to have a Bible in their language. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, let your children in Asia read the Bible in their own language and let the miracle of learning God's wonderful love occur everywhere. Guide us to know, believe, obey, experience miracles and to glorify you through the Bible. In Jesus' name, amen. Third, we will pray for the 46 countries in Asia, of which some do not have a freedom of religion, and some that are suffering from political conflict. A country that is most seriously lacking freedom of religion in this world is North Korea. Also, Myanmar and Afghanistan are suffering from political conflict. We should pray that God will lead them to peace. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who declared that all the nations of the world belong to you. Please let all the political leaders in Asia, including North Korea, Myanmar, and Afghanistan know God's justice and righteousness so that they can understand what a government should do for its people. Let the leaders save the people, save the nation, and to build nations that keeps and practices the eternal laws of the kingdom of God. May God's peace reach these places, in Jesus' name, amen. Fourth, we will pray for the diaspora Asians. Many Asians now live scattered across North America and Europe. We should pray that discrimination and hatred against diaspora Asians do not occur 
both during and COVID, post COVID-19. We should pray that God's grace and peace will come to them. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, although we are different in appearance, culture, and language, we are all your people of the kingdom of God. We have been glorified to become the children of God through the blood of Jesus on the cross. Please hear the prayers of the diaspora Asians as they seek God in their place. Grant them grace and peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Lastly, we will pray that Asia's future agenda becomes the Great Commission. Traditionally, Asia had its roots in Buddhism, Confucianism, and Islam. And now, Asia's future mega agenda must be transformed to Great Commission. We should pray for all countries in Asia to send out more missionaries for the Great Commission. Let us pray. Father, we remember what the Apostle Paul said. Preach the word, do your best in season and out of season. Just that Peter, Paul, and Timothy were persecuted by Judaism and the Roman Empire, but won in the end. We promise to establish the kingdom of God and preach the gospel to the 21st century and beyond. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you, and thank thank you very much, Biongo. It's again, it's an honor to have you. And I do want to make everyone aware of the Tongdok Bible app that has just become available. And I want to encourage everyone worldwide, whether it be Android or Apple, look up the Tongue Dog, Tongue Dog Bible app, and you will love it. And thank you, uh, Biongo, for spearheading it and making it all available to us so we can better read the Bible as one story. We are honored to have Angela Donadio with us. And Angela, thank you for your heart for the world. For you and your husband, Dale, please greet him for me. But uh, lead us in prayer for one of the great, great sins of the 21st century that it would be completely eradicated from planet Earth. Please lead us in prayer for this. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Davis. I'm 